Hello everyone, I'm Nazanae Ginger and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're doing a another Winx Club redesign, or if I were to do a reboot, I am focusing on Flora today. She was one of the characters I remembered the most from my childhood. And that's because she had such a, compared to the other girls, to me at least, uh, unique design palette and personality like I can remember her the most clearly I remember she was very sweet she was very much an empath and she was until the sixth girl showed up which wasn't till late into the like one of the original first seasons because she was pixie based. She was the only like person of color that you could tell was a person of color because while Musa was very much, at least in my mind, meant to be Asian coded, uh, she, there wasn't really much to show that off. Just because all the girl sides were styled very the same. I didn't have to change a lot about her design because, again, it was, compared to Bear Girls, pretty unique, and that's something I liked about Women's Club, is their designs are fairly unique to begin with, so there wasn't a lot of changing, like, the main thing I have to change is, like, body proportions, and switch up their clothes to reflect their personality more. Based off my memory, Flair had a thing for gardening. But yeah. I actually decided to keep her cute little, uh, fairy pose. And I realized afterwards, when I am watching this, I forgot to give her her wings. But honestly, like, it's pretty obvious to tell I would give given her like transparent leaf-like wings or yeah, probably leaf-like wings since I made sure the flower part of her dress was more of the petal. If I were to give her different wings, I would probably give her monarch butterfly wings and when I do a final look with all the girls, I'll probably add her wings then since I forgot them in this picture. This actually was a pretty quick picture seeing as I kind of had a rough idea of what I wanted to do because I, whenever I think of like floral magic girls, I always have this, had this idea of the clients stretching out as if they're like ribbons over their body. So this finally gave me the opportunity to use that. And she gets a cute little flower crown to help keep hair out of her face. Since I had a vague idea of what I wanted, I didn't even bother much with uh, the clothes aspect until I got to lining, since I knew I wanted to give her these overalls and keep that kind of... I believe they're called peasant tops, that kind of bunchy at the arms top, because I thought it looked cute on her. For a color palette, I stuck with reds, oranges, and green. Uh, mostly because I could see in with a more like my reboot that I could see DreamWorks doing, because they've been like the best about old reboots of sh of old shows like Voltron and She-Ra. They sh have their shortcomings and I'll discuss those in the another video, but I like that they changed characters for the gayer. Or to be more representative. So I could easily see them making her a very like soft femme. And this could also be I have trouble, like, not making characters gay. 
everybody's like, buy or pan until proven straight. <laughs> so I could very see her, much see her on that buy to lesbian type thing like they did with Catra and Adora and Shira. Next up, I'm probably going to do Stella, which was the orange fairy with blonde hair, if I remember. And I might do the sixth fairy, but I don't remember much about her, so I'll have to do some basic research. I ended up going back over and redoing her eyes because I wasn't liking how they were looking. And overall, I just had fun with this design. I'm much more happy with how this design turned out than I am Musa's, because there are multiple ways I can do magic girls who are supposed to be flora and plant-based, but there's very few ways I can go other than just like ballet outfits for me or instrument themes for music-based ones, so... That's why this one seems so much more put together, in my opinion. One thing I would change about her personality to uh, kind of go against the grain is a lot of times these very floral and like sweet characters are very shy and very muted. Like think Fluttershy from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I would make her an extrovert. <laughs> Honestly, just make her louder than the average like floral character. And there's nothing wrong with girls who are very quiet, it's just... For me, going against the grain in stuff like this, where you go against what the natural stereotype is, is important because it gives... People have seen the shy, floral-based girl all their lives. So there's at least one little girl or female presenting NB who relates to these characters when it comes to all the floral aspects and being really sweet and stuff. But they, there has to be at least one girl who sees all this and doesn't get why they're not as shy as that. And like they're loud and they want to have fun and not that girls who garden don't want to have fun. They're loud, they want to, they are extroverted and I wouldn't overhaul this character's personality completely, just make her a little bit more outspoken. I actually tried to keep as much of her, like, original design while adding my own flair in, in to the character as possible, because honestly I think it's a really good design overall. Especially for being such a uh, impactful character of color. Because when I look back onto my childhood, I can think of two really impactful characters of color that weren't like Disney related. And that is Number 5 from Codename Kids Next Door and Floral from Lynx Club. So I really enjoyed doing this redesign. I ended up adding more of her like blonde streaks into her hair. Because I thought it looked better. If you've seen my flower um, magic girl concept video, you can see I did a lot of shared 
a lot, not a lot of shared aspects, but like they have similar feels to them because if I hadn't gone for more of the like dance based theme, this is more of the type of outfit I would have given that magic girl. And honestly, these types of characters are fun to do that are flower based because I can go over with many different. flowers as inspiration, so fairy characters, when you make sure that they're flower-based, are very fun for me. Don't really have much to add to this, so I'm going to leave you with the music and the rest of the drawing for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!